welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at a friend of mine's Dodge weapons carrier. It's a WC51. Um, it's a bit of a basket case, but let's get into the video. All right, so the story with this, pick this up um, from Reading, which is quite far away from where we are, because we're obviously we're in Shropshire. And it's in the workshop. We've kind of just bolted everything together at the moment because it, it was, it's been like started, but not finished. Um, there's bits missing. There's things in various stages of restoration, which I've already done a little bit of work to, but we'll get to that in a minute. The engine's all there. Apparently it's been bench tested, but at the moment we haven't even tried to start it. I don't know any history about it at the moment. Um, so we're just going to go through all that, try and find out some stuff. There's a bonnet there, which I put in primer. Uh, we've got parts, but we haven't got everything to finish it. But we're gonna make a parts list, try and get it running, and go from there, basically. This is the stage of the engine at the moment. We've got, we have picked up some, some uh, NOS HT leads, which are quite cool. They definitely, definitely pass the smell test some of those and uh, that's the oil filter but i don't think it's right because no oh, that's not right anyway because that's tight and that's definitely not supposed to be like that so this is the kind of thing we're up against we've got parts which are right parts which are wrong parts which are missing we've got the majority of the stuff on it that we need to actually at least just try and get to turn over um i haven't even tried to turn it over yet but even by hand um but i say apparently it's been bench tested it looks pretty good hopefully it's not a wolf in sheep's clothing We'll see. Uh, we've got the carb over there, which is on. There's an air, there's an air filter missing off of it. Oil filler cap's missing. The generator's missing as well. Um, no, so we've got, we've got the generator here. The 12 volt generator. So this is gonna be running 12 volt. Whether that's well, the steering box, we've got the shafts, we've got dry shafts, well, prop shafts, um, bullet neck, steering and steering arms. That's something for the, uh, that's the cover that goes over there. Engine covers, there's just bits everywhere. So we're gonna go through the bits uh, later on in the video. There's been a nice repair there on the um, manifold, which I've seen. If we go underneath, <coughs> um, most of the stuff is all on here. We've got, this side's got its brake pipes on. This side hasn't. This side's got its brake pipes on, but it's missing cylinders, which we've got the cylinders. The exhaust, I don't think is right because it's hitting that. That one needs sorting out. Do you know what I mean? There's just things missing. It's just not finished, but it's clean under here. It just needs putting together. Again, this side's got its wheel cylinder on and its brake pipes. This side hasn't, so, we need to put, so it's this two sides what need uh, the wheel cylinders. Uh, so yeah, fuel tank needs to go on. All the um, wood floor needs to go on. But all in all, it's pretty clean under here. It's been painted. It looks all right. It just needs sorting out, basically. So that's why she's here. Bit of TLC. Get it all back together. And they can have it back. So that is it. That is the Dodge weapons carrier. That's the state she's in at the moment. So we're going to start off by taking all the body panels off and stripping it down so we can see what we need to do. Alright, so we've got Will fitting the uh, new old stock HT leads. Um, hopefully we've got the firing order right. Hopefully we have. <laughs> so that's them being fitted, so that's good. Something that's a little bit difficult on these is Will's got to split the HT lead into two pieces to get it to fit through that little clamp thing in the middle, which looks like a hand. 
um, you have to split the lead, poke it through and then put it back on the other side. So that's quite, quite tricky. Now we're going to start fitting the bumper correctly because there's brackets missing and the bolts that are loose. So we went ahead and tightened all the bolts up and fit the new brackets to support the bumper. And as you can see, there's the new brackets that are fitted, so that the uh, bumper is nice and secure now. Now we just need to double check the brakes because the previous owner fitted the brake system, so we're just going to check the shoes and we check a few things. So we're going to get the wheel off and check them. <laughs> yeah, that's mine. I think you're fine. To remove the drum, you just all you have to do is take off three flathead screws, and the drum comes off quite easy. So what we're actually doing here is making sure the wheel cylinder is the right one for the right side of the axle, because um, we weren't sure if it was the right side or not. But luckily, after checking the manual. It was the right side. Now all we've got to do is clean up the inside of the drum and get rid of all the old rust and fit the drum back on. Now that we've worked out that they're the right size, we can put the drum back on and then we can bleed the brakes. Help it. Um, we will need to adjust the shoes, but I'm going to do that after we've bled the system, just to make it a bit easier. Now, without spilling too much, we're going to put brake fluid into the uh, reservoir and then bleed the system. Not bad. And then we had our first leak. Hmm. Which was a bung, which they fit in from the factory, which should have a little blank in it. After the brakes were sorted, it was time to fit the tub onto the chassis. With two of us, it was a bit of a challenge. After all that, the camber decided to fall over. But we did get the tub on. Redmond finished painting the sides. Well, almost. Ollie, Roman and Will then decided to fit the fuel tank. I think. <laughs> Video me arse. <laughs> And as they were doing that, Steve cut out the ridges in the wood so that we could fit the metal strips in between, ready for the floor.
Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for in this video of the Dodge. Um, we're waiting on a few more parts to turn up. For now, I'm going to leave that video there. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Um, if anyone wants any merch and want any hoodies, I mean, this one's this one's definitely seen better days. Um, but if anyone wants any hoodies or stickers or anything like that, I've got plenty of stuff. Just drop me a message. I'll get them out to you. Yeah. But for now, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I can't remember what's on the back of this one. I think it's an animal mother.